Here with Southern head coach Eric Dooley. Coach Dooley, the first question is quarterback battle was a big conversation. You brought Harold Blood here to represent your program. Talk a little bit about his development and why you why you picked him to represent Southern today. You know, when, when I had the opportunity to work with uh, Harold Blood uh, coming in the very first spring, uh, he, did, he did show some maturity. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes you got to go back and research on uh, where a young man came from. And I do understand where he came from, Dusterham, which is a very good program. And he was, a, he was a, in my opinion, a gunslinger. So, you know, you saw some of the attributes that he brought. But more importantly, the young man, he realized what needed to be done. And, and he came in this next spring, and he immediately took over before I even let him start working with the first team. And you look for a self-starter. When you got that's a self-starter and, and want to uh, work on what other guys may have done wrong to be better, uh, you can't help but to give him an opportunity. But you know what? The opportunity wasn't given. He took the opportunity. Uh, and, and I do feel real confident in what he brings to the table. I think he understands what we're looking for, and he's doing a great job right now. But, uh, and he does understand this part as well. Uh, although he's the starter right now, he's here representing us, and he's our leader. Competition is always is every week to me. You you start and you play how you practice. So if you practice poorly, then it's impossible for you to start that week. Last season, first season at Southern, you guys get all the way to the SWAT championship, won the division. Talk a little bit about what was your biggest learning experience year one at Southern. Well, you know, my biggest learning experience is uh, really, I, I should say, a disappointment. Uh, I, I don't feel that you get to the championship game and you come up short because no one knows who the second place team is. So to me, we accomplished by getting there, but we didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. So apparently what we did last year wasn't good, good enough. So we got to go back and correct and can't do the same thing and expect a different result. So those young men understood that and now they understand that only thing we need to do is just go 1-0. and If we can go 1-0 and each week, our goals will be accomplished. You talked a bit. You talked a little bit about it. you came up short. You want to take that next step this year. What's one thing that you want this 2023 team to improve on from last season? Well, you know, I, I thought the discipline side of it. You know, when you say discipline, how you say that, it's up to you, coach. I'm gonna have a disciplined football team. But I thought we had some mistakes that that we can correct ourselves. When you talk about offside penalties, that was at crucial times. So we worked on those type things right there, and that comes with experience. That comes with with uh, just continuing to work at those type things. So I think. I think we did uh, take care of business in that situation and uh, the assistant coaches understand what I'm looking for as well as the players. Your secondary is loaded. Jordan Carter, of course, coming back. Christian Davis is an interesting one. He's been around the program for a long time, decided to stick with you. Talk a little bit about what you've seen from your secondary this offseason. You know, I'm, a, I'm so excited uh, about Christian Davis. I think this young man, the sky is the limit, you know, I, and, and I don't, I, I guess as a Head coach, I can't say it, but I, I have to say it. He's just not getting the publicity that he, that is needed. This young man here, in my opinion, is a Sunday player, uh, and he has two years left. Yeah. That's the that's the strange part about it. But I'm excited about the secondary. You bring back an experienced Jordan Carter, then you bring back another experienced Rodney Johnson, who competed in the uh, swag track and, and was one of the top guys. So you're talking about the secondary being loaded. Uh, I think it's good, but it don't start unless you have that, that, that front seven. And I think we are good in the front seven. That's going to help those guys be a much better secondary player. Coach, expectations for 2023. You said we know it's a championship, but what's just some things you want to achieve this year at Southern? It's really simple. Uh, my expectation, go 1-0. and If you can go 1-0 and each week, then you can achieve every goal that you set out. Coach, I appreciate your time. Congratulations on getting to the SWAT championship last year and going after that ring this year. Thank you.